Good day everyone. My name is Vincent Feldman. I'm a GIS consultant at the office of the city mayor uh, of the city of Bali. This is my third video where I'm going to show how to enter the data which we are requesting from you. And again, this can be filled out by a barangay official, Burak leader, or anyone else who the barangay can designate to acquire information, to survey if that's necessary. Um, so let's get started with it. This is the deployment, again, Bakyu City, Ushahidi IO. If you're not logged in anymore, if you for some reason were kicked out, you go again to the login. And here you use the information which you use to sign up. So that's why I told you keep that information, don't lose it. Log in. And once you log in, you see here on the which name you registered. So my example was Barangay Sub Rock Village, Vincent Feldman, and then my email. Now, to add information, which we are requesting, you click here on Add a New Post on the left, the yellow button, Add a New Post, click on it. Then you select Buildings and Addresses. So this is Bakio, it will always zoom in at this point, and then you go to the area where the information we are requesting should be entered. And for example, here, this is a building which we want to acquire the information for. And a good help for this is street view imagery. Now, it's, as I explained in another video, it's completely forbidden to use anything from Google for mapping activities. Anything. Even if it's not commercial, it's strictly prohibited. Google is very, very strict on terms and conditions. Don't get into temptation. There is, however, a service from Grab. It's called CartaView. On CartaView, I upload my own Street View imagery. And here you're looking at this big blue building, some small buildings. And as you can see here, you can actually go back. This is how I made my Street View imagery. So you can see this blue building is one, two, three, four levels. Then there's a roof level. Uh, this small building here, it had one level. And you can see the building behind it, it has two levels, so that's the one with the orange reddish roof. Uh, the interesting thing is, so this is brownish red, this is orange red. It's always hard to figure out the color, the exact color. I would say this is brownish, this is red. When you look here on the satellite imagery, you see this big blue building here. But you see the red roof is green on the imagery, while the brown is still brown. Well, that happens. The color of the roofs can change over time um, because of the waterproofing, depending on what um, color they use. So how do you proceed when you want to add a building? Now, for example, first let's consider the brown roofed building in front of the green roofed building. So we click here and in the center of it then it got automatically detects the right geo coordinates so you just click on that building then you enter the source so are you from the Purok or from the barangay let's assume you're a Purok leader so you click Purok then the color well in this case I go for brown when I look on the imagery it does not matter what I see here on the street view what is the real color now? That does not matter. That's unimportant. What matters is that you can recognize it on the satellite imagery. So you always check the color here, and here it's clearly brown. So you select brown. The building. Well, there's many options. Apartment, bungalow, blah, 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 blah. In this case, it's a restaurant. Um, I know that because I ate it once. 
So in the list here, there is no restaurant. There are so many types of buildings, so I couldn't add all of them, then this list is just indefinite. If it's not in the list, then at the bottom there's a note. You click on note, then you scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here is a field note. Here you can then type building is restaurant. So then we know it's restaurant. Then you go back up, um, then you got the house number. Well, the house number in this case is 47. The street, okay, this is City Cam Road. The Porok number, uh, this is 3, I know that. The Barangay, this is City Camp Central Barangay. The name, does the building have a name? No, it doesn't. An old house number? Maybe, I don't know, so I leave that blank. Is it part of the village or subdivision? Again, I don't know, so I leave it blank. Lot number? Block number? I honestly don't know. Building levels, yeah, I can see that on my imagery here. There's only one level visible. So, this is building level one. And then I click here, submit. And then you see success, so you made your first report. Then you say, okay, that's good. You see it here. For some reason, it shows a double. This is a bug, don't bother it. Just click add new post again. Then you select again, survey, you go again, zoom into this area, and now we're here, now we click on the next building, this building. So the source again, assume I'm the Burak uh, leader, the roof color in this ca case is greenish. Uh, you might also select grey, it's not that important. What is important is that we get an overview of the building and the colors around it, so it's easy for us to detect it. Uh, the building itself, well that is a house, so the first part here is a restaurant, this is a house. Then again, it's the same house number, it's the same street, city, can road. The Purok, it hasn't changed either, it's still Purok 3. The Barangay, City Camp Central. The rest, I don't know, so I leave that blank. There's no note necessary because I already selected the house. Submit. Yeah, sounds good. Now I did my second one. And now you actually see four, but again, that's just a bug. There's only two less. You can see here the number two. You can also see here the number two, and you can see here the number two. So don't mind that it's double here, it's okay, as long as when you enter 2 and it says 2, or if you enter 20 it says 20, we're good. You can also go on the map view. On the map view you actually see which houses you already did. So you see here a number and here a number. And um, uh, one moment, open street work, so I can actually verify what I did, if that is correct. Uh, you don't have to do that because if you're the Purok leader or a barangay official, I'm sure you know what you're doing. But I need to verify it because I don't live here. Okay, I did that right. Then... Um, okay, let's select the next one. So we do a new post again. We select again buildings and addresses. This is our survey. We go again to City Camp Central. Then we click on the next house here. I can again verify what I'm doing. So this is this building here. So that's a huge balcony basically. I can recognize this. Um, that would that be the next number, which is then 40, 48. Okay, so I'm again the Purok leader. Most likely you don't have to do this verifying. I, I assume Purok leaders know their area. I don't live here, I live in Irisan, so for me this is unknown, I need to verify this. Um, but you are the pork leader, so you know. The color, well this is clearly grey. The building, it's um, a house, obviously. The house number, it's 1048. You enter city camp, road. You add the port number, it's three. You add the barangay, that's city camp central. Uh, 
the rest of the information I don't know. The node, you can enter, for example, um, you can say attic level is balcony. For example, then we know when we look here, we're looking down at the balcony. And then you do submit. That's it. Okay. Then again, new post. You select again buildings and addresses. And we go again here down the road, city cam. And now you select the next building. For example, this one here. And you say again, I'm the poor leader. The color of the roof there is clearly green. Then the building. Okay, I need to look here. That would be this building here. This one. Okay, I need to go back a little bit. So I can actually see what I'm looking at. So this is the greenhouse. One, two. So that's two levels. Okay, and it seems residential, so that's a house, house, the house number is at 49, it's City Camp Road, then the Pork, it's still Pork 3, that much I do know, the Barangay is still City Camp Central, name, blah blah blah, all of this I do not know. But the levels, I could see that it has two levels, so I enter two, and I do submit. And we got the next one. Yeah, and there we go on map view. And on map view, you can see now, you enter the data for this building, you enter the data here for the little restaurant, you enter the data for this house, you enter the data for this house. And then you can work your way through all these buildings, these buildings, and if you're from another barangay, uh, zoom into your area. You can enter the data for these houses. Oh, these I already did myself, by the way. Um, for example, here in the Navy base, all these buildings. If you're the poor leader, if you're the barangay official, you know that you zoom in and you enter the data as I shown in this video. Um, there are a few things which may come up. Let's go to my area where I'm living. Uh, this is Ad Road. Yeah, for example, this is where I'm living. This is my house. Let's do new post. Building addresses. And then let's go to my place. So in this case, I click here in the center of my home. Then I say I'm a constituent or I work for the city. Um, in this case, I work for the city. The roof color, it's red. Where do we have red? There is red. The building itself, it is a house, where is house? There. If two houses are together, with their walls really built at each other, it's called semi-detached. Um, there's actually here where, where I wrote that, you see here a web link, you can select the web link, then you right click on it and you say open link. And then you see all the options for possible values about buildings, what kind of building we're looking at. So it can be a jeepney shed, shelter, it can be a hut, it can be a garage, it can be just a water tank, it can be many things we're looking at. So if you recognize something on the satellite imagery, please do add that. Mark it. And then you say what we're looking at. Um, yeah, so go back to my area. Just an example. For example, here I recognize, mostly because I know, here is the Purok outpost. So I can click here on this light bluish building, which is the Purok outpost, and then I say I'm the Purok leader, 
the color is now blue. Then I say the building. The building here, for example, Purak Outpost, house number, it doesn't have that. Now this is the thing. If there is some information not available, as written here in, in the description, you enter NA. That means not applicable. So if the street name does not exist, if the house number does not exist, if any data we request does not exist, you enter NA for not applicable, except in the building, what I mentioned already, you can always write it in the note, the building, so then you go to the bottom and you simply select note, and then you enter the information here. And by the way, in note, you can add any information. Anything you want to tell us, whatever we're looking at on the satellite imagery, whatever is helpful, you can put it in a note. But in the case of a street name or a house number, um, there is not much to note about. You can add it in a note. But the main thing is select not applicable, NA, if there is no information available about it. Um, the same about the street. The street here, actually, there is no name. There is a name for this street up to this point. It's Cordilleras Road. But here there is no road. Some people call it Idugan Village Road. That's not the name. That's not an official name. It's just what people call it, but it's not an official name. So please don't make up fake names. Don't make up your own name. It's very important you stick to facts. Just because someone calls it that does not mean that's an official name. Um, the same thing is done, so street name, you can here say NA, this part of the road does not have a street name. If you go a little bit further, um, here in St. Patrick, it becomes Kaili Street, I believe. Let's check that actually, before I say stupid things. Um, yeah, Calia di Rezzo. So from here on, there's a gun tree here, which can recognize here the imagery. After the gun tree, it's uh, Calia di Rezzo. And then in Irish Phil, I believe it becomes Amethyst. So, and between, it really has no name. Between, there's no name. So don't, don't invent names. Don't make it up. Don't say, oh, it's going to this subdivision or to that area, so I give it this name. Don't do that. If there's no name, stick to the fact it has no name, so you write NA, not applicable. Uh, the Purok here, that's Purok 20. The Barangay, that's Irizan. The name. So does this building have a name? No, it's an outpost. It doesn't have a name. So you don't enter a name address place. Is it in a village or a subdivision? Actually, yes, it's in Lan and village. So you can enter this information. Lot number, block number, no, I don't know. Building levels, well, it's just one level. That's it. There is no specific note to it. So you just click submit and that's it. Then another example I'm going to give here. Add new post. Again, building and survey. And we go again to this area. And for example, this building here. This grayish building. Let's click on it. The source, assume I'm the Burg leader. The roof color is gray. The building is actually a garage. So let's scroll down. Garage is under others. That's a garage. Okay, do we have a house number? I do not know that, so enter NA. The street, note that part of this road doesn't have a street name. The Purok, it's still Purok 20. The barangay is still Irizan. No name, no, no. Uh, the address place, this is already Ilugan village. I think, if I'm wrong, uh, Leticia, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Lot and block, I do not know. Building levels, well, it's just one. And here you can say, garage is a workshop for car repairs. 
you, if you know the name, name is whatever. So you can say name is um, good repair shop, for example. That's not a description, just the name. You can also say uh, the name is Ricky's repair shop, whatever. Um, you can enter contact data like contact, phone, and then plus six three seven four, whatever the the number is for Baggio. And then you click submit. And now we at the city know there's a garage there, and in the garage there's a workshop. The building level is one, etc., etc. Um, yeah, so the main thing really is that you can really add any information if you don't know the bill, if the building is not listed, you just add a note. The source, if you're the poor cleaner, poor up. The building color, well, let's zoom for my house, let's finish that, my house. Click. Then we say the roof color is then red. In this case, where is red? There is red. Note house number, that's 63. Street, that is N8, it's not applicable. The Borg is Borg 20. The Barangay is Irizan. Um, it's okay if you sometimes write just 20 or sometimes you write Borg 20. That's fine, we filter that out, it's just to get the information. Uh, the name, no personal names, old house number, I do not know that. The place, this is Police Village, Police Village, lot number, block number, no. Building levels, in this case it's four. Note, um, yeah, there is no specific note. You can say, for example, building level from street level is three only. So one is below the street level. And then you say submit. Okay. And when you look here on map view, then you now see there's here on the right side in city camp there's no data. And there's data here in Irizan in Kurok 20. So I hope with these examples I've shown you how easily you can enter data and of course this is a bit of work but imagine how much work it is for us from the city or for the students which we are now trying to get to help us. If we had to walk through the whole city and do this with just a handful of people, we have 128 barangays, I believe 128, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, barangays they have uh, multiple Puroks, so we're talking with the Purok leader and the Barangay officials, we're talking about hundreds of people who can do this instead of just one or a handful of people, so with your help we can speed this up, we can do this within a few weeks, that's our aim, to do this within a few weeks. I promise you, if you fill in the information like this, once it's completed, write me on my email that you have completed your Purok, then I will process the information from your poor within a few days. That data is available for Grab, for Facebook, it's available for you, for the bar guy, it's available for the maps of um, Apple, iPhones, uh, Android devices. All of this equipment has then this map data available. Um, the propagation, how long that takes, I do not know that. So once I enter it, it might still take a while for the companies to catch up with the data, they don't automatically do that. I notice, for example, Grab, sometimes they update data within seven days, sometimes within the next month. So you have to be patient for those companies, but they do fetch the information from our database. The main thing is, just do it. This, this I really, I really would like everyone to understand the importance of this information. It's for the couriers, it's for grab food, it's for cars, it's for taxis. I had taxi driver already in Baguio who couldn't find my address. I have couriers who can't find my address. But after I added my address, now they can actually find it. So please, this is not just for yourself, this is for your constituents. 
this is for the companies, for the commercial activities in our city. We all benefit from that. This couriers don't waste six, eight hours per day on finding addresses, especially new couriers. In the beginning, they give up already because they cannot find addresses. Now they can. So please, 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 I ask you, cooperate with us. Give us the feedback. Give us the feedback as soon as possible. Don't delay it. Um, delay is only a hindrance to all of us. So do this really as soon as you can. And with that, I'm going to conclude this video. If there's any questions, you know my WhatsApp, you know my Telegram, you know my Facebook, please do contact me. I'm always willing to help people, always. And by helping you, you can also help other people who are in the same issue with you have. So, let's do this.